history and their first shutout. Now the UTSA Roadrunners are shooting for their best start in school history when they face Western Kentucky on the road this Saturday. When they held off UNOV in the Dome last Saturday, they matched their best start in 2012. Now they're looking to go 6-0 for the first time in school history, but standing in their way is a quarterback from Victoria, Bailey Zappi, who has more than 1,700 yards passing and 16 touchdowns. So what makes him so good? Oh, he's tough. He's really tough. Uh, and he's played in the same system so long. You know, he got to do it on the SCS level for all those years against really good FBS teams. I mean, I think he threw for 576 against Texas Tech last year. And then he gets to bring his receivers with him and his coordinator. That's unique. So everything's still the same for him. And he's really accurate. He can really throw it. He can run around. And the system is really good. Kickoff is set for 6 p.m. on Saturday. Now running back Sincere McCormick needs nine yards rushing to top 3,000 for his career. The KSA 12 TSP game of the week tonight will feature the top two teams in District 29 6A, number one Brennan against number six Taft. The Raiders are 6-0 and by playing one more game are leading 29 6A. Taft has beaten Seguin, Veterans Memorial, Holmes, Marshall, Harlan, and Warren by averaging more than 36 and a half points per game behind the one-two punch of running backs Justice Hurt and TJ Andrews who have a combined 18 touchdowns on the ground. For the Brennan Bears, they've beaten Reagan, Clemens, Harlan, Warren, and Stevens averaging 42 points behind dual threat quarterback Ashton DuBose who has more than 1,100 yards in the air with 18 touchdowns and another 266 on the ground and four more TDs. I believe it is going to be almost like a playoff game. You know, we're both undefeated. We're both top ranked teams. You know, we both bring what we bring to our you know teams. This is honestly our district championship game. But at the end of the day, like there's a lot of pressure on them. They've no, they've been known to beat us a lot. So there's no pressure on us really. This is probably one of our biggest games of the year. You know, uh, Taps probably are going to be our best opponent for sure. They're undefeated. We're undefeated. It should be a good matchup. Oh, this is an important game. This is basically our district championship. You know, both teams coming in undefeated and yeah, ready to do some great things. And you can see it all live on KSAT 12.2, courtesy of Texas Sports Productions, live tonight at 7. San Antonio FC at El Paso Locomotive FC last night. Stoppage time. Defender Mitch Tainter finds Courtney Ford with a long ball. The on loan Ford heads it in in the 94th minute, tying this match at three. What a beautiful goal. SAFC earns a road point after a six goal thriller. Now, SAFC will return home this Sunday to face Memphis at Toyota Field at 7.30 p.m. All right, Cardinals, Dodgers, last night, National League wildcard game, bottom of the ninth, and the Dodgers' Chris Taylor ends this game with one swing of the bat. Two-run shot the left field, and the Dodgers win 3-1 to one in walk-off fashion. So the Dodgers will face the San Francisco Giants in the NLDS starting Friday. And today at 3.07 p.m., the White Sox and Astros will start the ALDS at Minute Maid Park. That'll be exciting. Man, I'll tell you what, hitting a postseason homer has to just be so amazing. To make sure you get into the, well, it's the playoffs, but not really the playoff, if you ask like. A lot of people you know. watching, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Wild card, whoo, man. Yeah, it's too many right. playoff teams in, the, in baseball. Hey, how about a little hocus pocus? Is that magic? Magic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is right. And we, of course, have Dead Man's Toes to finish with your witch's brew this Halloween. Yes, and it's also Halloween DIY week, and we're going to start off a little bit of Halloween makeup. And uh, I always love doing Halloween makeup, so we're going to show you some little tips on how to make it look really eerie and spooky and all that. <laughs> and speaking of Hocus Pocus, there's some mm -hmm. of my handiwork the voice and the makeup, so. All right, well, if you're a fan of the film Hocus Pocus, actor and musician Larry Bagby, who plays Ice in the film, joins us. And we're gonna be chatting with you. You were here for Comic-Con as well. Yes. And we're gonna get a performance, but there's something about filming the movie folks may not know, right? I think there's a few things. Okay. But I could give you one of them. That is when we were filming the movie, the very first scene when you see us pop up behind those grave gravestones, mm -hmm. that was actual gravestones in an actual witch cemetery. In, in, in Salem, Salem, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Okay, uh, on that <laughs> note, we have to dress up for Halloween. We're gonna take you to a great costume shop, and who is your favorite villain from the movies? Yes, the Halloween ones. villain of all time. Let us know at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. All that and more when we continue in a few minutes.
Welcome back. One last look at the forecast. We're at 85 now, 91 this afternoon. Great for Friday night football or Thursday night football, I should say, tonight and Friday night football tomorrow. Humidity comes back this week and it'll be hot with some rain chances showing up next week. Thanks, Justin. Have you ever been to a cemetery at night? No. No. Why would I do that? I don't, I, well, in Hocus Pocus, isn't there some of that going you can on? Watch it on. You can yeah. watch it on the big screen. No, no thank you. No, thank you. Fast. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's a really nice guy, but I'm not sure I'm going to go watch some scary movie. I mean, scary movies. It's a right. funny, scary movie. Okay, well, maybe that'll I'll yeah. do it then. All right. SA Live starts right now. And today on SA Live, we take you to one local store where you can find all of your favorite trendy costumes and Halloween supplies. Plus, we teach you DIY Halloween makeup tricks that are easy and affordable. Look at those cuties. <laughs> and enjoy your favorite fall desserts guilt free because we're turning them healthy. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. How about some dead man's toes as a little appetizer? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> to go along with some witches brew this Halloween. Our Halloween DIY week continues on this Thursday. I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> and I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, Hocus Pocus, you may recognize our first guest from the beloved Halloween film. Actor and musician Larry Bagby played the character Ice in the movie, and he's joining us to make some snacks based on the movie from the unofficial Hocus Pocus cookbook. Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome. Well, it's good to be here. I really am enjoying just hanging out with you guys. Well, it's been you. fun. Yeah, we've had a good time. So far. It's the most fun you can have in an hour in this room in San Antonio. Yes. I okay. love it. Second, second trip to San Antonio, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. First one, we don't remember much. <laughs> that means it was an awesome trip. My brother awesome informed trip. me we have been here before. And he, <laughs> I'm like, what was this whole river walk? He's like, you don't remember the river walk? <laughs> yeah, before or after you pushed me in. But, but you do remember Hocus Pocus, right? Yes. Okay. How can I forget? All right. Dead man's toes. Have yes. you ever served those at a and or had them or at a cocktail? Uh, not not uh, the name. The name I've never had the official okay. dead man's toes. I uh, used to suck my thumb. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> these look Close pretty gross, but I do like these little pigs in a blanket. Yeah. Okay. So I'm a fan. Yes. All right. So to get started, what take do we need? You've eight, got it over there. Eight hot dogs. Cut them up. Great little trick. Leave them in the package and just take a knife and go right through them like that. And looky there, we've got. It's like a surgeon over there. I, I, exactly. Wow, very good. He's been that training for quick. this moment. Bon this appetit. Life. Whoa. Hey. Oh. Whoa. There's huh, huh. Too. Dead man toe coming away. So. Mm -hmm. All right. And then um, you have to cut three lines in each toe to make the knuckles and the toenails, which just talking about toenails and food. And really food, kind of food, okay. So. And I know this is kind of like, you know, pigs in a blanket, but this looks so much creepier. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, a great thing to do for any Halloween party. And I mean, and sure, if you have like, you know, like your boys would yeah. love this, right? Yeah. <laughs> looks like something for money. When anyway. they were younger. All right, what's your favorite part about Halloween? You know, uh, besides the dead man's toes here, I I like candy. I do. I really like just like that there's candy all the time everywhere. A chocolate, sour, sour? I like it all. I, I really? like, yeah, I like, you know, I like Skittles and yeah. the chewy stuff, but I love chocolate peanut butter. Reese's Cup, I think is my favorite. Kit Kat's a close second. Twix. I love Twix. Oh, oh. peanut butter Twix? Oh, I'm there. I don't know. What? I have it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You okay. can do yourself a treat. Get yourself some treat. All right. So we wrap these up in uh, crescent rolls then. And once those are all wrapped up, you bake them in an oven for, where's, oh, thank you very much. That's what I wanted. So, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, 375 for about 12 minutes. And these are going to be the hit of your next Halloween party. Oh, yeah. And then you just yeah. add the ketchup and the oh, yeah. mustard. Uh -huh. The mustard, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the ketchup looks like blood. I'm not quite sure what the mustard is. Yeah, we don't want to talk. Yeah, we don't want to, <laughs> we don't want to say, say what you said in, in rehearsal. So <laughs> we'll just leave it at, does this look infected? Oh. oh, I know. If anybody ever does that to you, by the way, oh. do not 
don't <laughs> don't go in on that. Another thing we can make is William's wormy dirt keg here and give us more. So you filmed some of the scenes mm -hmm. in Hocus Pocus there at the cemetery in Salem, Massachusetts. Yeah. What are some yes. other behind the scenes things that you did on that? So well, um, we we also did a the 26th anniversary on Freeform. Mm -hmm. They shot that whole thing in the Hollywood Cemetery. Oh, okay. So I guess that's kind of fun to watch the yeah. movie in the cemetery. And um, <clears throat> other cool things about the movie was um, us shooting all that stuff. Uh, the house is actually was actually a real house they built inside Disney Studio. Oh. So it was like rep. It was like it, you could take that house yeah. and put it somewhere and live in it. Inside and out, it was incredible. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. It was fun to go to work every day on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, does it really feel like the? Even though it is a movie, it is work. But I mean, does it have that Halloween feel when you're doing something like that, or even the, some of the uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer that you were on? Yeah. Yeah. I was saying that my first episode of Buffy was the Halloween episode. So yeah. I, I'm I'm kind of a fall guy. It seems like I kind of okay. just love everything about that. Hey, we got a quick game for yep. you here. Oh, I love games. Yes. Yeah, so well, you are in luck. Okay. Let me finish my mustard on my fingers here. <laughs> so it's kind of like heads up, except since Ice has the word ice on the back of his head, okay, we are going to hold up a card on our heads, and you'll have to guess what is based on the clue yes. that is, you know. So who's first? Say the we'll be polite not turn our backs on you. So yeah. anyway, okay, you go first. Hold that I up go against first. your head. And you ready? Okay, don't look at the monitor. Yes. Okay. okay. I, I can't look at the monitor. No. Okay. Um, uh, 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 baby. Uh, ice. Yeah. Ice. Baby. He's good. He's good. Oh, okay. that. Okay. Go, I should have. Here we go. That goes here better, I think. Is, this, am I, is it facing the right way? It's blank. Here. It's blank. Use, use that one. Which one? <laughs> good <laughs> Lord. Okay. Uh, Hocus Pocus was all about the, oh. the three. Witches. And Witch. they have, when you do arts and... Witchcraft! Yes! yes. There you go. Okay. Very nice. Okay. And one that more. We both did, we helped on, oh, on that. Oh, you don't want oh, this to uh, cross your path. A uh, black hat. Okay. Black. You are in town for the uh, Comic-Con, right? Um, yes. No. Yes. Texas, big uh, Texas Comic-Con. Big Comic -Con. Texas Comic-Con. We'll be here uh, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Signing autographs and mm -hmm. taking pictures. Kissing babies. Yes. <laughs> you like, you We're like excited. Getting, you like getting back to meeting all the fans in person? Oh, it's the best. Because okay. there's always some new story, some new fan. Right. All it, right. It gets us all excited. Oh, uh, Larry Bagby. There's the information up on the screen for Big Texas Comic Con at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center, of course, Friday through Sunday. Head for, uh, to salive.com for more information. All right, got a question for you now. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your favorite villain in a movie, TV show? Larry, what was yours, mm -hmm. you think? I forgot to finish my. That's okay. Oh, that's okay. Well, I just want to finish it. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about that. Uh, not, not that I knew the question was coming, no. but um, Beetlejuice. <gasps> yeah. Oh, that's a good one, too. Or, would Edward Scissorhands sure, kind of yeah. be a I mean, he was a sure. sweetheart, but he had scissors for hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about you, Fiona? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, mine would be um, any the 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 ring, the girl the yeah. ring that crawls out. I don't I don't like that. I mean, I guess that would be the one that creeped me out the most. And <laughs> I would have to say, remember the old Twilight Zone, the black and white version, when it was the pig faced people in the hospital. All the doctors and nurses were pig faced, and the actress that played Elmer. Creepy. Lambert, yes, oh. it scared me to death. When I was little. You know, what scares me is Miss Piggy. <laughs> hey -ya! But tell us what your favorite villain is, and yeah, uh, maybe it's we Winnie some from Hocus Pocus. Oh, a little bit yeah, later on ice. in the show. All right, Halloween is all about ghouls and goblins and makeup and all that kind of fun stuff. And our Halloween DIY week does continue. And I have always been a huge fan of Halloween, and I love doing makeup. And this was me from a few years ago, and I did all of that makeup. And then this was a little more recently, and. I love to use, and this is the boys a couple of years ago, dressed up as little, uh, just ghouls and goblins. Look and I at love, you! I love to use 
liquid latex to do that. And <laughs> that's just this, you before you like when you get up in the morning, right? <laughs> exactly. That, that's before coffee. So uh, liquid latex, you can get it at uh, costume shops. It's not cheap. And so there are certain things that you can do. Mm -hmm to make it last a little bit longer. So pour some of that out. And what I did was, and it's best to use this maybe on parchment paper. So where, I just- Where am I pouring it, right? Just, just pour a little circle in there and kind okay. of spread it around. You can use a, uh, you can use a, one of these pads or a makeup sponge or something. Okay. And then I used, in this case, just a piece of uh, Kleenex right there. It gives it a little bit of texture and also it makes your liquid latex go a lot further. And what you can do is then, if you want to put some makeup on this, and glue it to your face. Uh, you can either use spirit gum or just the latex itself to glue it to your face. So what we can do like this is, I will pour some out and I can take one of these things and I will just put a little bit of this on here. And now if you are allergic to latex, remember this is like rubber gloves, so, so don't do that. And then make sure, and it's real hard to get these things off of here, but this will glue on and Let's you can see. then use some of it to, you know, once, it, once it's on there and the glue dries, then you can always feather it out. And the cool thing too is, if you then maybe peel that off once it sticks to your face and it looks like it's peeling. Peeling. And then you can take some liquid blood and put it on there too. And See, that's, it's that's so, really cool. So, so these yeah. effects, you know, that you're creating yeah. here, they're so versatile because they could be for a zombie, it could be for a vampire, it could be for a mummy, it could be for, you know. And I think the cool thing about zombie is the worse it looks, the better. And then I did something like this. How about some maggots on your face? Uh, that's rice that that's I just put rice? in oh. some of the uh, the liquid latex and, and cleaning. So all you have to do is uh, put some, take some of that tissue there mm -hmm. and you can even wad it up. This is not obviously right now sticking to my face since I'm talking okay. too much. And the other thing also, don't put it around your mouth just because you are going to be talking and you know, moving your mouth around. So it will sort of, sort of come loose. Um, another thing that I did too is, and you saw in one of those pictures of one of my, of the boys, they had, it was like stuff coming out of their, their throats. Well, I made a little, made a little hot pocket and that's how I picked up girl. No, <laughs> there we go, right there. Uh -huh. See that stuff coming out? Yeah. What I did, I took spaghetti and boiled it with a little bit of red food coloring, mm -hmm. and then took one of the little, little pieces of um, latex there, and I sandwiched another one on top with that spaghetti in there. I ripped it open, and that's now sticking out, and then what I can do is take a little bit of the liquid blood and put it in there. Ooh, and just kind of let it dribble out. And that all oh. runs out. Oh. And this would be after you put it on and you, you glue it on to your face. Now, the other thing to remember is that this doesn't breathe. It is like having a rubber glove on. So right. uh, it will get a little bit itchy after a while. And in a couple of those pictures, I had done the, the rubber skull caps. Mm -hmm. If you ever want to do anything like that, uh, rip holes in it, cut holes in it. So, so that you have so some you can, ventilation. So you have some <laughs> ventilation, because otherwise you're gonna be very, very warm after a while. But it is fun to, it's so right. fun to play with this makeup. And you know, they have different kits um, right. of different colors of makeup everywhere. Um, it's gonna be the black, the greens, the reds. And again, I just love doing stuff like that. Here's something else you could do. Take a little bit of gauze mm -hmm. or cheesecloth or something. Mm -hmm. I put a little bit of the latex on there. Then you can glue that to your face. And if you wanted to wrap that around and, and yes. stick it on and be like a mummy or something like that. So it's just a lot of fun. And again, some of the, the uh, costume shops do have this. Like I said, it is a little pricey. Don't buy more than you need because if you don't have it sealed up real tight, it will, uh, it will go bad. But it's a lot of fun to do. Can I show off my teeth real quick? And you made these teeth out of what? Fingernail acrylic. Okay, phew, I'm glad you said acrylic. Yeah. <laughs> you paused for a second. There we go. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I can't believe you made those. And ground them out with a Dremel tool and all that stuff. So yes, it's really hard to talk at these things on. So yeah. <laughs> all right. Hey. Oh, thank you so much. All right. For more information, of course, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And now I've got latex all over my face. Right <laughs> so now, more so. Halloween tips. Yes. All right. Still ahead. Looking for a Halloween costume this year? We take you inside a local shop that has a huge variety of masks, makeup, decor, and more. And treat yourself to a fall dessert that is actually good for you. That's coming up next on SA Live. Well, one of your favorite fall desserts just got healthier. Ooh, and I tell you, these things do taste good because we've had them before. Priscilla Benavidez, owner of Pure Heart Foods, is here to help us make pumpkin loaf with a twist. Good yes. afternoon. So Hello. good to see you. Hi. Yes. Thanks for having me again. Uh, this looks so delicious and it's a healthy version. How do we get started? Right. So we're going to make this pumpkin loaf um, today and we're using our original muffin mix as our base. So we're going to prepare the muffin mix just as the bag um, says to for one batch. So we already have our eggs in there. Mm -hmm. We're going to also pour in, yep, our three tablespoons of butter, our one third cup of honey. We use the local honey. And then to bring it over to the pumpkin loaf, we're going to add our cup of pumpkin. And just regular pumpkin puree that yes, you can buy at the store. Yes, just pumpkin okay. puree you can find at the grocery store. And then we're going to also do two tablespoons or teaspoons of that pumpkin pie spice. So yeah, you can go ahead and okay. put that in there, Mike. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. go ahead and right. like this. And so while we're mixing this, uh -huh. you know, what makes this pumpkin loaf healthier than, right. than others? So since we're using my muffin mix as the base, uh, it has a base in almond flour, which is really high in antioxidants, uh, magnesium, selenium, um, vitamin E, high in fiber, helps regulate, you know, bad cholesterol, can also help uh, keep your sugar levels you know, more even if you're really sensitive with your sugar. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of health benefits to cooking with almond flour versus like a regular flour. Okay. And now the big thing is though, a lot of people think, well, okay, it's the healthiest, uh, all the good ingredients for you. And there goes the taste, right? But you right. have your official taste tester <laughs> and oh, it passes yeah. his muster, right? Uh, right. Uh, my teenage son definitely does not hold back in opinions, right? So no, he's they're my official tell you like it is. tester, yeah. And he also does not skimp in eating. So, um, so yeah, he's my taste tester at home. Kind of the reason why I created this product uh, two years ago. And um, yeah, so yeah, so we have these two products right now okay. out on the shelves. Uh -huh. so, so after you get it in, in into the pan, sure. Okay, so unlike the recipe on the bag for muffins, whenever you're doing the loaf, you're gonna lower the temp to 350, okay. and you're gonna place it in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes. So okay. this goes in like yes. that. Also, yeah. you can feel free to add like walnuts, uh, dark chocolate chips, however you like your pumpkin loaf. Okay. And okay. make it fun. And, and then this the... would be what it looks like coming yeah. out of the this oven. This is out of the oven. This one does have walnuts and chocolate chips in it. Oh, good. Okay. Ah, and then here's like a slice so you can kind of see um, the texture and how and those out. two things, adding walnuts, adding chocolate chips, the dark chocolate chips, yes. those are very good for you too. So it's just kind of adding to it and adding exactly. some more flavor to it, right? Yeah, more antioxidants, more protein. So uh, in your opinion, is there uh, like a key ingredient for good pumpkin loaf, you know, besides like the pumpkin or, the, you know, like, or the spice, what, what else just kind of takes it up a notch? I mean, the walnuts and, and chocolate chip are definitely my favorite. And so, and also, Using the dark chocolate can add a little sweet, you know, the, the base, the way that my, my uh, muffins call for the mix is actually not overly sweet. So the dark chocolates can also like add that little special punch. And the nice thing too is it's nice and moist. Yes. It's, a, it's a good dense, you know, pumpkin bread, like it should be, right? Yes. And yes. if you want to slather some cream cheese on here. Oh, definitely. Go for it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. If you're not, if you're not overly concerned about your sugar, definitely make that homemade cream cheese, you know, icing or dust some powdered sugar on it. Oh. That and sounds good. You, tell folks where they can find Pure Heart products and the deal you have for our viewers today. Okay, yes. You can find my products online. I'm also at this at the Pearl Farmers Market every Sunday. And um, you can find it at a few local stores. If you check our Instagram and social media, you can see all of our locations listed. 
And also you can use code SA Live for 15% off your order from now till the end of the month. And right. got muffin mix and the pancake waffle mix too. Both of them are very, Double very versatile. Double chocolate yep. muffins coming up. We're gonna be oh, making yes. those a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay, more information on Pure Heart Foods, head over to SALive.com of course and click on the as seen on SA Live tab. All right, get baking Priscilla. We're gonna want those double chocolate muffins. Hey, still ahead on SA Live. It's a fun trip to the Texas Hill Country for the whole family. A pumpkin patch for kids, plus gardening supplies and wine for the grown-ups. Well, actor and musician you saw Larry Bagby returns to perform one of his original songs for us. That's all next. You saw him on Hocus Pocus and Walk the Line. Now actor and musician Larry Bagby returns to perform an original song for us. Here is Larry singing Still. The days go by, it seems it's been forever. I'm skinny now, been starving for. Double chocolate with none of the guilt. We share healthy muffin recipes for anyone. And we take you Texas trip into a Fredericksburg pumpkin patch with fun activities for the whole family. Welcome back to SA Live. If you're looking for a weekend family road trip that includes a scenic drive, pumpkins, and even some wine, we're taking you to one hidden gem today. Oh, that all looks so fantastic. As you saw, Jen Tobias Trusky has this week's Texas trippin' in the Texas Hill Country. So take a look. A fall outing to the Texas Hill Country. Today we take you to Wild Seed Farms. Now we've been out here during the summer, but in the fall, you can find some adorable pumpkins, fall decorations, and lots more. Let's go explore. 
It's a beautiful scenic drive to Fredericksburg, known as Texas wine country. Wild Seed Farms is one stop that the entire family can enjoy. This time of the year, they have a variety of pumpkins to choose from, along with all your fall flower favorites. And no matter what kind of pumpkin you're looking for, they're sure to have it here. I like this one. I don't know about this guy. Maybe. He needs love. Being one of the largest garden centers in the Texas Hill Country, you'll find more than just pumpkins here. Inside the Brew Bonnet Beer Garden, I came across some fall-inspired jams, butters, and sauces. And then, of course, more pumpkins. And after you get your pumpkins, they have a wine tasting room. This is the newest addition to Wild Seed Farms. I'm gonna go check it out. This tasting room still smells freshly built. Yes, you can enjoy your wine, take a little break from pumpkin shopping in this gorgeous setting. And if you're in the mood for shopping inside Blossom's Boutique, you'll find Texas-inspired gifts, fall decorations, and more. This is definitely a trip you can take in the Texas hills on the scenic drive, enjoy photo shoots near the pumpkin patch, have a glass of wine, and do some boutique shopping. All in one stop, Wild Seed Farms. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Trusky. Road trip. <laughs> I don't know if I like the inside of all the going on or the view driving up there, right. which is gorgeous. Oh, for more information on Wild Seed Farms, all you have to do is head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, support local and get your Halloween costumes and decor from a local Halloween shop. We take you inside this spooky store just ahead. And we are turning double chocolate muffins into a healthier fall treat. We're gonna show you that magic next. Oh, we're looking at these double chocolate muffins. Oh, they can't be healthy with all that chocolate in there. Oh, <laughs> oh but they can, Mike. It's magical even. They can. Priscilla Benavidez, owner of Pure Heart Foods, is back and she's going to make Mike a believer. Yes. <laughs> okay. How do we get started? Okay. So we're doing the run through again where we're starting with our muffin mix, our grain free muffin mix, and okay. we're making the recipe on the back, our basic muffins. So we already have the mix uh, measured in there. We have our eggs poured. We need to add mm -hmm. our butter and honey okay. to just make our base mix. So very and, simple, same thing right. yet again, right? Exactly. And then we, this time to make the double chocolate, we're going to add um, that half a cup of chocolate chips that Mike has. Okay. Yes. And then we're going to also do a half a cup of cocoa, as much as you can get in there, Mike. So. And. Um, so yeah, we're gonna mix this up. Okay, there we go. So again, like we have the same health benefits using the almond flour and using a cocoa and a semi-sweet, you know, vegan chocolate chip, or you can even do sugar-free chocolate chips, kind of keeps that balance if you're um, concerned about sugar. And so what makes these double chocolate muffins healthier than right. regular right. double chocolate muffins? Well, our base, right, that we um, talked about, the, the almond flour is, high in antioxidants, high in fiber, high in minerals, selenium, magnesium, phosphorus. And this kind of helps your your whole gut health too, right? Definitely. With all these different ingredients. I, I remember you saying that in the right. past. Right, yeah, it's high fiber. I mean, it actually helps regulate your sugars uh, yeah. uh -huh. in your body. It helps with bad cholesterol. Um, and then, you know, cocoa powder also, besides being delicious, has a lot of health benefits as well. Okay. And so, I mean, benefits of a low inflammation diet exactly. are Right, so a lot of times when you're struggling with um, gut issues or autoimmune issues and symptoms, you want to reduce, <laughs> you want to reduce that uh, inflammation in your body. It helps alleviate the system, the, I don't, the symptoms. I don't know if we mix it up quite right, but <laughs> we get the point yeah. there. So. Yeah, yeah, we got to mix it up real good. That whisk, it's sticking a little bit. But where'd you find these these little muffin papers? Those uh, are the H E B, Amazon, really? anywhere. They yeah. call them muffin tulip. They're muffin called, tulips. Tulip, 
tulip papers. I've never seen anything besides the regular, you know, corrugated oh, yeah. ones. So, okay, so these go in the oven right, and bake. Right, bake them in the oven, 375 for like 14, 15 minutes. Uh -huh. And then they come out, this wonderful product. It kind of has like a, a uh, brownie texture. Okay. Oh, so cool. And so you created, you know, kind of pure heart foods right. for, I mean, a reason close to home, right? Right, yeah. My health journey, uh, changes mm. in my health journey started about nine years ago, but about six years ago, we, um, or I changed my overall diet to reduce inflammation. I had autoimmune and Lyme disease and also predisposition to certain cancers. So just overall mitigate risk and better means of life and living. So. That's how Pure Heart was born. Um, I couldn't really find anything in the grocers that was low, uh, grain free and low sugar or no added sugars at all. So I came up with it myself. And what's next for you? What, what's your goal? Yes, so right now we have big behind the scene projects happening um, to increase production so that we can be in more stores and be more available. We have uh, new products coming here pretty soon, at least one more by the end of the year. And you can find us, you know, in some local stores, local bodegas. All of our locations are listed online and also at the Pearl Farmer's Market every weekend. You're right. Not too sweet, mm -hmm. but, but just enough, especially with the chocolate in there. Yes. And, and it's got that, that good texture, sort of in between, like you said, muffin and brownie. Yes. Nice right. Yeah. Right. Very oh, well. chocolatey. And a, and a nice <laughs> glass of milk and you're all set with this. this oh, this is yes. good. And, and folks, healthy. Folks, tell folks how they can order from you and about the special you have for SA Live viewers. Yes, you can order online um, or even if you come to the Pearl Farmers Market and you mention SA Live or use that keep, or that discount code online, it's 15% off your orders through the end of the month. Mm, delicious, Priscilla. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. And again, for more information on Pure Heart, excuse me for talking about mouthful, mm -hmm. Pure Heart Foods, head over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We have provided a link. Thank you. All right, next on the show. We take you inside a Halloween costume shop and talk to the family keeping this local business alive during this spooky season. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we are taking you to a large Halloween store that offers men, women, kids, and even plus size costumes. You can find makeup, wigs, props, and even home decor. Yep, and we talk to the local family that works together every year to keep this shop going. Take a look. seven years, um, we decided to open a local Halloween store because we thought that the community would deserve um, more choices to choose from than a corporate Halloween store. We love working with the public. Um, we try to keep our prices low. A lot of the corporate companies really have higher prices. We try to bring in the most lowest cost for your money. I was in the Army for 23 years. I was at Fort Sam Houston for 10. Um, I retired. I did run a Halloween store on the side for Alamo Fireworks and they tried it for a couple years, got out of the business and we decided since they trained me that it was something I could continue on and I have loved it. We specialize in um, one-of-a-kind masks. We try to pick out what we haven't seen at other stores. Uh, we have tons of different choices for women, men, kids, and, and we carry the largest selection of women's plus size in the city. We carry high-end animatronics that people are out looking for and a lot of the stores are limited this year due to distribution. We ordered early, back in January, so we got a large selection of animatronics. We do have home decor. We carry accessories, anything women possibly could want. We carry pantyhose, petticoats, corsets, steel bone corsets that might cost you on a high end, 150 online, we sell them for 89. They're more clothing wear, they're not costume. You're gonna actually have a zipper and a hook. Um, they're not gonna fall apart. <laughs> We carry high-end masks from Ghoulish to Trick or Treat Studios, and we, we order them one-on-one, -on -one, not a mass quantity, so they're better quality. Our biggest seller this year is probably our retro decor. 
We do try to carry a big line of them and even the original vintage Bastille line. We came up with the name Hocus Pocus um, from the Three Witches, which we love the movie. And actually, a guy that we know, John Beebe, he actually helped us. He recently passed away, but he's the one that said, hey, why don't you just call us Hocus Pocus? This is a family-owned business. Um, my husband, my daughter, my son, and all my grandchildren, and my daughter-in-law, and my best friend, Faith, we're the only ones you'll see us here every day. Um, we're here every day to help you. We are open Tuesday through Thursday, 11 to 7. And then Fridays and Saturdays, we are open till 8. Sundays, we open at 12, but we close at 7. You can find more information at HocusPocusHalloween.org, or you can find us on Facebook. Once again, we're Hocus Pocus. We're down here on Austin Highway, 1533 Austin Highway, next to the Goodwill, across the street from ATP. This yeah. year, he said Halloween is one of his favorite seasons. He, he, he would love it there, you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, like she said, right by the Goodwill, that's just about at uh, uh -huh. Harry Wurzbach right there. Yes. Yeah, yes. and the, the HEB and all that. Yes. So, okay. All right. All right. For more information on Hocus Pocus Halloween Costume Shop, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we provide okay. the Okay, well, that was just a little taste of what we're working on as far as costumes go, because tomorrow on SA Live, our Halloween DIY, we have DIY Week continues with Costume Day. How to make your own last minute looks with things you have around the house. Plus, want to have the best costume in the family where you can create a show stopping look by shopping where the cosplayers shop. It's a little local treasure with top quality costumes. And there's a new haunted adventure in town. We give you a sneak peek at San Antonio's newest <laughs> twisted and terrifying maze. Yes, <laughs> I made Fiona go first. <laughs> Of course you did. Scar, you're scarred. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. You know, movie villains. Uh huh. They can really kind of stick with you. Again, the pig face <laughs> people in that. In the uh, well, Twilight and, Zone episode. And you know, like, say, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. You know, those scare me because, I mean, that, that really can but, really But some happen. of the best, like <laughs> uh, Larry had mentioned, uh -huh. The Unknown, the original Alien. You never saw the thing for the until, longest time. Yeah, until towards the end of the little, movie or the yes. last half. Yes. Because what you don't know. Yes. That's why we're always afraid of the dark. <laughs> and then his favorite was Beetlejuice, which yeah. was just classic. Yes. So, who is your favorite Halloween movie villain, okay? And Coco Lika says, Winifred and Darth Vader. You know, a lot of people claim Darth Vader is the classic, classic villain. Sanderson Sisters Halloween movie, otherwise it is the Borg. All right, Megan says, Michael oh. Myers. Yes, he's like a cockroach, he doesn't die. The original Halloween <laughs> was great. He just keeps coming back. All right, costumes tomorrow. <laughs>